Hey, everybody, good afternoon. Hope you are on your way to a fabulous weekend. How about that game last night? The Chicago freaking Bears were up 27 to 3 at the break, and they win 40 to 20. What's going on in the NFL this year? Washington almost beat Philadelphia in overtime last week. They're at home Thursday night, and they get outplayed that badly by a winless Chicago Bears team. Think about that at the half. 27 to 3. Crazy, isn't it? All right, we can talk about the NFL weekend. We can talk about the college weekend. Uh, the Kings are in the midst of two a days as they get ready to start their preseason action and love your questions. All right. So let's go, man. Bring me the questions. Let's have some fun. Pretty neat. I put it on my social media page today. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I was at lunch with a gentleman in Elk Grove and I'm sitting there having lunch and all of a sudden a guy appears and he's standing at our booth and I'm, I'm looking at his face cause I'm having eye contact with him and he goes, look at my shirt. And I look at his shirt and I'm like, Oh my God, Napier got screwed is what his t-shirt said. I couldn't believe it. I got up, talked to him. His name was John. Took a picture with him. 35 years season ticket holder. He said, after what happened to me, he canceled his tickets. And I was just like, now that's loyalty. That's support. Huh? Man, loved it. Nate Pierre got screwed t-shirt at the restaurant in Elk Grove today. Got to love the fans here. They're the best. Absolutely best. Alberto says Miami's only a 12 and a half point favorite versus the Giants. That can't be right. You know what? Uh, it's the NFL. Of course, that's right. It's not college football. Yes. You know, absolutely. Yeah, John, we were certainly wrong about the game last night. I think most people were. Yeah, I think most people were. Absolutely. Man. Good question here. Grant, what would you consider to be the next step for Keegan Murray this upcoming season. Uh, better rebounder, increase the scoring by a couple of points a game, and have less lulls in his game. All right? Hello in the Marshall Islands. That doesn't sound bad. How about that, Stephen? Thank you for chiming in from the Marshall Islands. Greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say. You know, the Bears are improving. You know, they blew a huge lead last week to Denver. And so I would agree with that. You know, I would agree on that. Yeah, I would say this too. Uh, Patrick says, based on this game and their game against Denver, I believe Washington's secondary is very suspect. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Not very good. That's for sure. Not very good indeed. All right. Keep the questions coming. Glad that you were with me right here on YouTube. If you don't like that. Had uh, really a lot of fun here the last couple of days and uh, meeting a lot of people, running into a lot of people, and uh, just love the support uh, here in Sacramento. Great stuff. Love it. Fans here are uh, the freaking best. Hope you are on your way to a fabulous weekend. All right, so Monday, uh, I'm still trying to coordinate with Sean Salisbury. I think I'm going to be able to do the show on Monday. My schedule changed, and then I don't know about a Listen App show, but I'll do my best, okay? And then Tuesday... No show on Tuesday, but then I'll get back on the horn on Wednesday. All right. Uh, do I think that Dallas and San Francisco lives up to the hype? A lot of lack, lackluster games this season. I would think so. You know, I would think so. Um, yeah, I'd be a little concerned about Micah Parsons and his knee. Uh, the Niners, we know, are good. I think they're going to give the uh, Cowboys a lot of fits. And so... Yeah, I think this will be a very good game. Yeah, Sunday night football. Yeah, I think this is one of the better games uh, on the schedule. Good question. But yeah, I do think it lives up uh, to the hype. I hope so. You know, I hope so. That is for sure. Uh, Raiders and Packers Monday night in Las Vegas. So that is your Monday night game. And of course, we talked about the Sunday night game. And then what we saw last night uh, with the Bears steamrolling. All right. Steamrolling. The... Washington Commanders. Hey, NBA guru Zach, are we going to get over or under 
three and a half playoff wins next year. Zach, can we please get through preseason? Can we? Can you ask me that question on the eve of the opening night? Can we do that? So, Zach, hit me up here. What do you think? Hey, Zach, by the way, I was driving today, and I want to let you know, and I don't have any problem admitting this. Uh, I was on a ramp at like 11.45 in the morning, and the and the ramp light was red. I didn't stop for it. I don't care. Give me a ticket. Pull me over and give me a ticket. I'm not stopping on a ramp to get on a freaking highway where everyone's going 65 miles an hour. Again, it's the stupidest, most asinine thing I've ever experienced. I don't ever stop for the ramp lights. I don't care. And if I get caught, here's my license. Here's my registration. Here's my insurance. Give me a ticket. Not stopping on principle because of stupidity. So you can go chase Napier down on the highway. You can follow me. And when I go through the ramp lights, feel free to give me a ticket. I'm going to give you all my information. I'll pay my money and I'll be on my way. It's the stupidest, most absurd thing, Zach, I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, really absurd, ridiculous. John wants you to tell him about traffic, Zach. John, John misses you, Zach, telling him about the traffic. Oh, my gosh. I know one thing. If I were in charge of the motor vehicle department, it would be very simple. You do not get your license. If you do not know how to merge onto a highway, you don't get your license. Not happening. I don't care whether it's bumper to bumper. I don't care if the cars are going 65 miles per hour. I don't care if they're going 30 miles per hour. I don't care if it's three in the morning or five in the morning or seven in the morning or five in the afternoon in Russia. Don't matter. Don't matter. Worst owner, Mark Davis or James Dolan? Well, that's easy. It's Mark Davis. James Dolan's got his place full every night of Knicks fans and Rangers fans. John, you want me to keep up the rant? John, what else am I going to do, John? I already did my rant. I've done this rant so many freaking times. You know, John? John, let me ask you something. If you're on your bicycle and, you know, well, yeah, it doesn't apply to you. You're not riding your bike on the highway, so I can't go with that. You know? Oh, my God. Garrison wants to know, how are you supposed to get up to highway speed when you have to stop at a stupid red light on the rent. You can't. Good good job there, Garrison. You can't. You can't. It's the worst. And here's the other deal. You're stopped at a light, right? And then you got the carpool lane next to you with cars zipping by. So you got two lanes of cars that have to stop because that retarded light, okay? That's right. I said the word retarded. The retarded light is red, and you got people on the left of you, okay, going 50 miles an hour, accelerating to get on the highway, and you're at a dead stop. Get rid of those damn lights. Would you please on the highways? Get rid of them. Garrison says, I 100% agree with you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Incredible. All right, here's Cody weighing in. Was not impressed with Randy Gregory in his last 10 games as a Bronco. Uh... Happy more reps for Cooper and Benito. Can't disagree with that. You know? Can't disagree with that. All right, hit me up. All right? Uh, what do I think about the A situation? I'll tell you exactly what I think about the A situation. The Oakland fans do not deserve a baseball team in Oakland. That's exactly what I think. Okay? Period. They don't deserve a team. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. I'm not a big John Fisher supporter, but guess what? When he put a winning product on the field, when he put a playoff team on the floor or on the floor, on the field, when he put a divisional winner on the field, you didn't show up. You still didn't show up. I've always said this. If an owner puts a good product on the court or on the field and the fans don't show up, to me, you have a right to move. If you put a crappy product on the field or the court and fans don't show up, you don't have a right to move. The A's were good, playoff good, and the fans still didn't show up and they haven't showed up. And I'm tired of everyone blaming the ballpark. I was just at the game two weeks ago and, you know, it's not as bad as everyone says. It's Now, is it 
Is it San Francisco? No. No, it's not. Okay. Is it Safeco? No. Is it Petco? No. Okay. But to go to a baseball game, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing. And all I hear about, you know, this and that. Well, guess what? You didn't show up and haven't shown up year after year, decade after decade, when there have been good teams on the field. So I'm sorry. I feel sorry for the loyal, the loyal 10 to 20,000 fans. I do feel bad on that. You know, I, I, I'm fine with them getting Randy Gregory. I think that's depth. I don't have a problem with that. You know, I really don't. Uh, is two of my early season MVP pick or is it McCaffrey? I don't really feel comfortable talking about the MVP in a 17 game season after four games. I just don't. I don't think we should ever talk about an MVP or MVP candidates until we get to at least seven or eight games. That's my feeling on it. All right. That's my feeling on it. All right. Here's one. Zach says, I got us to get less than three and a half playoff wins. Unfortunately, too many good teams. I will refuse to comment on ramp meter talk, but I will agree that 1145 ramp meter shouldn't be on. Good job right there, Zach. You and I agree on that. Couldn't believe it. Good job there, Zach. You're coming around a little bit, my friend. I like that. Took me a while, but you're coming around. All right? Take away from my last night's uh, Bears game. Bears are playing better. You know, they played pretty well last week and lost. And probably, you know, last night looked really good. You know? Look really, really good. John has an old boy in there. All right, John. Good job. All right. So last night, I had a fabulous dinner at Bennett's West Side Grill. A lot of fun. Met a lot of people last night. Boy, the place was jumping. The energy, the environment. Uh, I had my favorite with my buddy. Scott and I did the uh, New York. Ugh, so good. So good. We did a side of the Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes. Had a nice glass of red wine. Over 60 different types of wine available by the glass. Got a chance to talk with Brian, the owner, and had a great time. Go to Bennett'sRestaurants.com to make a reservation. Check out the menu. It is awesome. Something else I want to do. I want to thank you. Brian told me last night that there have been customers that have come in and said that they are in there because of this show and me promoting Bennett's and it means the world to me. Brian actually said last night, he said, you support Grant? He says, I sure do. And the people at the table go, well, we're supporting you because you support Grant. Love you people. You're freaking awesome. I love that. So thank you for your support. Thank you for going out to Bennett's and telling them that you've uh, seen me talking about them right here on YouTube or my other platforms. Uh, it means the world to me. It really does. Thank you very much. It really does. All right. Again, keep the messages coming. You know what? I got to tell you, it's pretty darn close to the best I've had. It's top shelf, that New York strip. It is top, top shelf. All right. David says that the Oklahoma-Texas will be an SEC matchup next year. So, Who's got tomorrow in the Red River game, Mr. Grant? I'm going to go with Texas tomorrow. I'm going to go with Texas. Who are you taking? Who do you like? You know? What do you think? All right. Hey, I love this. I definitely went to Bennett's because of you. Was pretty good as well. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to take a message of that. And I'm going to send it to Brian. I love that. Love getting the messages there. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm taking Texas tomorrow. Who are you taking? All right. Uh, what are my thoughts on Sasha on the Kings? Well, I'll tell you this. I think he can flat out shoot the basketball, and I think he's going to be a really good asset on draws and kicks. All right. Uh, do I think he's a little underrated being the EuroLeague MVP? No. No, I don't think he's underrated at all. I think he's right where he needs to be. He's got to prove himself uh, in the NBA. 
you know, Europe and the NBA are, are a lot different, you know, a lot, lot different. So no, I, I don't think he's underrated. All right. And I wouldn't worry about that, whether he is or isn't. I'm getting high tech, huh? I am getting high tech. Do you like that? Yeah, I'm getting high tech. You know, I'm doing YouTube shorts now. I'm doing putting stuff on TikTok. Some, some, yeah, I'm, I'm getting into it. I can't wait. We're going to have so many listeners. And by the way, I had an individual come up to me last night at Bennett's and said he wanted to sponsor my uh, podcast. And so I called him today and I'm going to have a, a new sponsor here soon. If you are interested in sponsoring, and being part of, if you don't like that, all you need to do is send me an email right here, okay? Napier at gmail.com. Drop me an email. Tell me, uh, you know, what you're interested in doing. I'll give you the rates and everything else. And we'd love to have you part of what we're going to be doing this year. Uh, it's going to be awesome. All right? Can't wait. All right, Bills and Jaguars in London. What do I see happening? I see the Bills destroying the Jaguars. That's what I see happening. I don't think the Jags are that good. I, I, I like Buffalo, and I like them big. All right? I really do. All right, this one, I can see the uh, Niners running the ball down the Cowboys' throat. 49ers 30, Cowboys 17. I don't think so. Dallas is very difficult to run against. I don't think they're going to run it down their throat. I know they have Christian McCaffrey. I get all of that. I, I don't agree with you there. All right? I don't, I don't. Rob has a very interesting question. Do you think the Raiders should just start Aiden O'Connell for the rest of the year to see what they got? I think we should for draft purposes. No, not, not way too early for that. Way too early. So no, I do not think they should. I don't. All right. Love the questions. Keep them coming right here on if you don't like that. Hope everything is good. Love everyone chiming in here. Well, waiting to see if we got our lads from Serbia over there watching, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, had the big contingent from Serbia. Love it. All right. So David wants to know how many 3-0 sweeps do I have in the next round of the MLB playoffs? I'm going to say one. What do you have? I'm going to say one. Very difficult to win, you know, three games in a row. Now, I know we just had all sweeps in the wild card round, but those are two games and. You know, I get that. Uh, ESPN plus prediction for the Kings win total 43.1. Real, I didn't see that. I'd go over on that. I think they win more than 43 games. In my opinion, the only way they don't win 43 is if Fox or Sabonis get hurt. I, I They're going to win 43 games. I mean, I, I know, the uh, again, there's a lot of age in the West, a lot of attrition. And so, yeah. You know, Cody says, I hope Devontae Adams uh, shoulder is good enough to go on Monday against Green Bay. If not, they're going to get they're not going to win. They're not going to win without Devontae Adams. They may not win anyway, uh, but they are not going to win uh, without Devontae Adams. All right, let me see what I got going on here. All right. Um, I love the messages. I love every you guys are freaking awesome. All right. All right. Uh, you got the Niners. The prediction, 140-plus rushing yards against the Cowboys. Uh, well, you got McCaffrey. Um, I'm going to say less than that. I'm going to say less than 140 yards total rushing. But you might be right. Uh, we got this. The Raiders are a mess as usual. They really are. I had them winning less than seven games at the beginning of the season. You know? Jeff's goes Sacramento's near-perfect bill of health in this season will be challenging or their perfect health last season will be challenging to repeat, which is why it was one of my teams most likely to decline. I get it. I get that. But I also think they're a little bit better roster wise. So they might be able to make up for a little of that. All right. Alberta wants to know, Grant, why does the NHL and MLB predominantly white sports get no coverage on ESPN and Fox. I say due to the lack of viewership interest from the public. Um, that has nothing to do with it. All right? Nothing to do with it. The NHL doesn't get a lot of play uh, because their ratings are not that good. But ESPN does cover it because ESPN is a partner of the National Hockey League. MLB, by the way, 40% uh, of their players are of color. So that that's misleading as well. Uh, 
I don't watch ESPN, to be quite honest with you, and I don't watch Fox for their sports highlights, but I would differ with you that they don't get a lot of coverage of baseball. I, I don't see how that could possibly be. They're a partner of Major League Baseball, and they're a partner of the National Hockey League. So when you say they don't get a lot of coverage, I think you'd have to you know, expand on that because I'm not really sure what you what you mean by that. All right, Cody wants to know, Giants are expected to use Sterling Shepard more this week. Will it make a difference? Not unless he can play tackle. No. If he can play right tackle and block somebody instead of Evan Neal, it will make a difference. But um, a guy that's a wide receiver, that's small in stature, I doubt will be able to play right tackle. But he'll probably play pro, – good thing I don't have to talk for a living. Probably will play it better than Evan Neal. But, no, it won't make a difference. Nothing's going to matter unless you can block. And their offensive line can't block. So until you start protecting your quarterback, okay, doesn't really matter. How how are you going to get Sterling Shepard the ball, Cody? Are you going to hand it off to him? Really? What are you going to do? You're going to throw a wide receiver screen? How are you going to get him the ball? Can't get anybody the ball down the field because your quarterback's on his back all the game. And that's a running quarterback. So I don't see it, Cody. You know, I don't see it. I really don't. Have I ever been to Ella's? I was at Ella's a long time ago. I can't even remember when. Um, long time ago. All right. Hit me up. What do you want to talk about? All right. He responded. Thanks for the clarity. I asked because I saw people calling out Fox for not having any MLB coverage on their shows despite owning the TV rights to the playoffs. I don't even know what Fox shows, what, what, what shows are on Fox. Like, I don't even know what they have. I don't even watch it. You know, two second drop back swing pass. Well, okay, what do you think the Miami Dolphins are going to be expecting Cody? You know, uh, you know what, John, that was not Bula on the boat in Tennessee last weekend. That was a good boat, huh? John, you like that? See how I zeroed in right on that little pup? That little Tennessee volunteer pup? I got good eyes, don't I, John? That was excellent camera work, don't you think, my friend? Anytime I can get a, a cute little dog on my video, I'm all about the animals. Love the little dogs. Absolutely. David, I don't know about what's going on with Bally Sports. He says, do I think Bally Sports will carry MLB games next season? They've already lost two. San Diego and Arizona. There's a whole a lot of things going on there that I'm I'm not up to speed on, you know? John said beautiful. I agree with you, John. I agree with you. That was a cute little dog. No doubt about it, John. All right? Absolutely. Uh, here we go. Do you know what John Gruden is up to after getting booted by the Raiders for whatever stupid political correctness reason? Um, I don't know what John Gruden's doing these days. I really don't. Probably counting his money, you know? So, Cody said the Seahawks are using two and three uh, tight ends to help uh, beef up the blocking. Are the Giants trying this? They actually are, yes. So a very good point that you make. Yes, they are. No question. All right. Keep the questions rolling. Love him. Keep the questions rolling. And don't forget, any plumbing issues, New Works Plumbing's got you covered. Just go to sacserviceplumbing.com. Or call the number on your screen, 916-713-1010. Sack Service Plumbing. New Works Plumbing. They've got a fix for you. How about this Trevor Bauer story, huh? Is this unbelievable or what? Did you hear the phone call that was released? 27-minute phone call with the alleged victim who was sitting next to the police? I mean, that actually makes it even seem much better for Trevor Bauer. Here's the deal on this, okay? Once again, the media, okay, of the United States has zero accountability. They ripped the guy to shreds two years ago, tarnished him, labeled him, calling him a, 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 a sexual predator, everything, okay? I've said this and I'll say it again. I don't really care what you do in your personal life as long as what you do is consensual. You want to do crazy stuff? Go do crazy stuff as long as it's consensual. I don't care. If it's consensual, go do whatever you want. 
Major League Baseball is suspending the guy for two years falsely. It's a joke. We saw it with the Buffalo Bills and their punter. We saw it with Michael Irvin with the NFL Network. We saw it with the Duke lacrosse team. I mean, I can go on and on. It's terrible. Terrible. You know? Terrible. Amazing. Well, here's what's awful about it, Cody. Says the Trevor Bauer allegations are awful. The guy had won a Cy Young prior to this. What's awful is that he was guilty and had to prove his innocence, which he did instead of being innocent and you having to prove guilty. That's the problem. You know? Yeah, they punished him. They Major League Baseball suspended him for two full seasons, and then he appealed it, and it got reduced to like 197 games or something like that. They ruined his career. You know? Crazy. Just the way it is. All right, this game uh, said that, the, uh, in my opinion, the game between the Niners and the Cowboys will come down to the Niners' O-line protecting Purdy in their running game. Well, that's the way most games come down to. You know, the real key is Micah Parsons. You know, he's questionable with the knee, and they they need Micah Parsons, and they need him very healthy. Uh, Manny says uh, he should sue Major League Baseball. He probably will. You know, I would I would think that Major League Baseball wouldn't have a leg to stand on uh, based on what has been released. It, it's just terrible. And again, doesn't this is not about whether you think, you know, like you have a difference of opinion how he lives his personal life. Who cares? If it's consensual, who cares? You know, John says that Bauer lost at least fifty million dollars in pay. You're right. Yes, he did. You know? Absolutely. It's terrible. Terrible what's going on in this country. I know. I'm a victim myself. It's terrible. I mean, the media and social media, um, you know, and Stephen A. Smith on ESPN's First Take has Rob Manfred on two days ago and doesn't ask him about the Trevor Bauer story. How could you not ask the commissioner about the Bauer story? And if the commissioner said that's off limits, you can't ask me about that, then you go, sorry, we can't have you on. Very simple. I had that happen to me at times. And I would say, well, then you can't come on. Or I have to ask you the question and you can refuse to answer it, but I can't have you on and not an ask you the question because it's going to hurt my credibility. So Stephen A. Smith really hurt his credibility with that one. You know, terrible. All right. Yeah, I know Debo Samuel. This is another key. Expected to play, but nursing injuries. Do the 49ers even need him for this matchup? You know, it's the NFL. If you can play, you play. That's the way the league works, you know? But I, I understand what you mean. I'm mean, looking at Joe Burrow. They It appears they brought him back too early, right? Amazing. Alberto says, I'm sorry, Grant. Uh, what happened to you still angers me a disgrace. Thank you. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Uh, and I'm very confident in the lawsuit that is ongoing and uh, the depositions that you will hear about one day and you will shake your head. You won't believe it. Trust me. You won't believe it. You'll be like, wow. You will say, wow. And you will be mad. And you will go, I can not believe it. You'll see. You'll see. Trust me on that. You will see. I promise you on that. All right. Again, if you want to hit me up, all you got to do is uh, send me a message. And I will do my very best uh, to answer. All right. Anita chiming in. Niners may not Debo may not need a Debo, but the Cowboys need Micah for the best chance to win. Yeah, if, if Micah Parsons is limited or can't play, the Cowboys aren't winning this game. You're right about that, Anita. We support you, Grant. Well, thank you. I support you, and I appreciate your support and everything you do for me. Uh, so thank you very much. But I mean, I think Micah Parsons is the most dominant defensive player in football, and without him, and again, he's supposed to play, but if he's limited then that that's a problem, you know? That's a problem. And I, I think, you know, you look at the best defensive play. You know, Nick Bosa, he's one of the best defensive players in the league. We get it. He's paid as the best defensive player in the league. Why? Because he is. He's dominant. 18 and a half sacks last year. 
I mean, I like Michael Parsons uh, better. I think Parsons is a better. I mean, if you told me I'm starting a team and I can either have Bosa or Parsons, I'm going to be happy with either or, but I'm taking Micah Parsons. I think he is an absolute dandy. I wish he was on the Giants instead of the Cowboys. I can tell you that. They had a chance to draft him. They didn't draft him. A lot of teams had a chance to draft Micah Parsons and did not draft him. I don't know. Another mistake by a lot of teams, you know. All right, what do you think? Uh, we, next week, we start talking more Kings. We'll get some looks at preseason. We'll see how Sasha Vizankov looks. I can't wait to see how Sasha looks. I mean, because I keep on hearing how great he shoots the ball in practice. Well, okay, well, that's practice. Let's see how he does in games, right? And will he be able to get a shot off? And how does he look? Uh, any thoughts on Dick Butkus? I watched him play at Yankee Stadium. And you knew you were going to watch one of the greats of all time when you watched Butkus. Guy was great. Plain and simple. One of the very, very, very best middle linebackers to ever play in the National Football League. You know? There you have it. Oh, look at who's chiming in. We've got Serbia. We got the folks over in Belgrade. Yes, indeed. How the heck are you? How the heck are you? What is it? 12.30 in the morning over there, right? So I can officially say Dobro Utro. Ah, but you don't normally say good morning to someone at 12.30. But uh, good to have you on, you know? Absolutely. Uh, Cody says, I think Watson will become the player he was, I believe. I haven't seen any signs of it yet, you know? Yeah, Serbia. Yeah, Absolutely. I haven't seen any signs of Watson looking like the guy that he was in Houston. Not yet. I'm not ready to close the book on him, but I haven't seen that. I have not seen that. So, again, starting next week, we will talk more Kings. We'll have uh, some preseason games to break down, and we will be able to, you know, talk about individuals. We'll see how uh, Chris Duarte looks, how Sasha looks, and uh, all of that. So, yes, looking forward to that. Uh, beginning next week. And then the following week, I got a couple of conflicts. Uh, I will not have a show a week from Tuesday. That I know for a fact. I will not have a show a week from Tuesday. And Wednesday, I don't know about yet. You know, don't know about yet. Don't know about yet. All right. That's right. How do you say good evening in Serbian. What's good evening in Serbian? Put that up on my screen. All right. We'll love that as well. That I, I should know how to say that, you know, how do you say good evening? All right. Because 20 days more and we are shifting to the U S time zone every day. <laughs> love it. Love it. Good job. Love it. That's great. You know, uh, Dobro, uh, Vici? Or v, is that one one syllable or two? Is it Dobrovici? All right. Where is Waggus? John, is Waggus on, on with us? Right? There you have it. I should know. I should, I, you know, I, hanging around Vladi and Peja as much as I do, I should know how to speak a little more Serbian than I do. I apologize. I got to learn that language. All right? And all the other Bogdan Bogdanovich. You know, I'm around Bogey and... You know, he's speaking Serbian. I can't understand them. You know, they can talk about you. They can make fun of you in front of you and you don't know it. <laughs> I got to learn. I got to learn Serbian. I got to do it. You know, I'm trying to learn Thai a little bit. Um, yeah, I can fit Serbian in, you know, maybe I learn how to speak. Th I, first of all, first and foremost, I need how I need to learn how to speak English. That's my biggest issue. Once I learn how to speak English, then I can move on to Serbian and Thai and everything else, you know? Absolutely. All right, here we go. I left my thoughts and feelings on the whole Evan Neal situation, but I don't think I used words YouTube didn't like, and my comment was hidden in the newest section instead of in the regular comments. It's all right, I understand, you know? Yeah, you know what? He says, you're going to learn 
when you spend time here. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Uh, I want to learn Mandarin. I don't have, I don't have it on my plate right now. You know, don't have it, you know? So there you have it. I can't wait to see Sasha play. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. I really am. It's going to be fun to watch him play. It really is. All right. So again, uh, Monday, I'll be doing a show, hopefully with Sean. And if not with Sean, then, uh, but I'm, I'm going to try to figure this out. And then Tuesday, probably no show. And then we'll get back on the horse Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday um, is going to be very difficult. I, I'm going to be tied up all afternoon into the early evening Monday. And I don't like to go head to head with Monday Night Football. Maybe, maybe I'll do a show after Monday Night Football. You know, we'll see, you know. Uh, we'll see. Well, I can't wait either, man. I'm coming over there. I'm coming over there. I am coming over to Belgrade and we're going to hang out and uh, we are going to have a good time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, any shows with Rhino next week? I don't know yet. Um, probably Thursday for sure. Off the top of my head and maybe Monday. So we'll see. All right. I got to roll. You all are the best. Thank you very much. I love just the support walking around town. You people are freaking awesome. And uh, I hope you have a good weekend. You know, I hope you have a really, really good weekend. Uh, I will get to this question by Anita. Other than the Kings, what team intrigues you? Celtics, Suns, Golden State, Milwaukee, etc. Well, I'm going to throw a, a different team at you. I'm really intrigued with Oklahoma City. I like what they're building there. And they have a superstar player in Shea Gilgis Alexander. I like their roster, and I think they can be really good. So I'm actually going to be looking. They intrigue me to see how good they can be this year. I think they're going to be really good, Anita. I mean, I mean really good. I'm not talking about the, like what the Kings did last year, but I think they're a top eight team. And then the Celtics are really. There's no way the Celtics, barring injury, should not win the East. You know, they really should. They, they Anita, they they are. Think about this. You got Tatum, Brown, Porzingis, and now you add one of the best two-way players in the league in Drew Holiday. They're good. I mean, they're really good. They are really, really good. So those are the teams. Milwaukee, yeah, everyone wants to see Damian Lillard and Adeta Kumbo together. And I do too. I do too. But I, I'm looking at, again, a team that no one's talking about right now is Oklahoma City. And I think they're going to be pretty good, Anita. I really do. I think uh, to me, they're a playoff team. They're a playoff team. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, drop me an email. All right. Anything you want to talk to me about the show, you want to sponsor the show. If you're interested in sponsorships, drop me an email, gnapier at gmail.com. And I am very happy to respond to you. All right. That's right. Cody also adding who else the Thunder got. Uh, the Sasha killer. I'm going to tell you something. They could be pretty good. They could be pretty good. They really could. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a really good weekend. And we'll talk to you next week. Oh, boy.